This is James Helder for IFL TV. I'm in Stonebridge ABC today for a media workout with James DeGaulle, head of his defensive his WBC silver title. With me, I've got Mr. Nassim. How's it going? Very good, James. You? Yeah. Very good, very good. Um, how do you think James is looking today? We can see him in the background training away. I, I think he looks awesome. I mean, brilliant hand speed. It looks like the power's really come on. Um, you know, as you can see, this, this he, he had a year of uh, work, working through injuries last year. So I, I know we're going to see the very best of James DeGale this year. And you can see that with the speed and power that uh, he's, he's, he's putting out today. Coming up to the fight in Bristol, fighting, fighting, fighting an undefeated opponent in Corvortian. I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, Gavorg, Gavorg Kachikian. What can you tell me about him, Mick? Well, he's 20 and 0, he's undefeated. Um, he's a strong fighter, pressure fighter, and um, you know he believes he can win. And, and more importantly, he wants to fight, which we do. We do struggle with James. We struggle to get get the right opponents. So uh, you know you, you, you can never underestimate an unbeaten fighter. It's that simple. James is elite, world class, and uh, I, I feel like he'll, he'll show that on the night, make a massive statement worldwide. But at the same time, you've got to focus on this kid because he is unbeaten. A lot of talks been going on about potential fight with Badu Jack for James DeGaulle. Um, how, how as far has that come along now, Mick? Is that, is that potentially going to happen? Well, look, it's, it's, it looks like it's going to first bids on March 14th. Um, we've reached out to Mayweather Promotions a few times now and we've had no reply. So uh, we've watched their reports in the US where they've basically said that they want to fight in the US. Um, but uh, it would be nice to get a reply off it because We've made him an offer and we've also reached out to talk to him, so uh, yeah, we've had no reply so far. With money not being an, an object for Mayweather promotions, if they're really confident in Badu Jack and the fight, surely they'll, they'll try to win the first bid, won't they? I, I, I would imagine so, but uh, you know, at the end of the day they're business people as well, and uh, sometimes you know, you've, got to, uh, you've got to arrange bids to, according to the, the actual business economics of the fight. And, um, you know, it's, it's one of them really. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're going to look to get that on their Cinco de Mayo show. But um, also it's important for us to try and get it in the UK. We're going to do our very best to win that first bid. So uh, if we can't do a private negotiation, and uh, as I said, I've been trying to speak to them about a private negotiation, but uh, that's not been forthcoming. So we're going to do our very best to win the first bid. James has been uh, defending his WBC silver title, working up the rankings now. Sakio Bika holds that belt. Are, are you comfortable with James James winning that fight if, if that chance was to come up? Yeah, for sure. I, I like that fight for James. I just think that he's, you know, he's got speed of foot, speed of hand, um, great movement, great athleticism, and I think that's the sort of style where he, he, he could absolutely sort of make Sakio Bika look, look, look bad, you know, make him fall short and, and make him pay. Um, I think, you know, it's the it's, Styles, styles are right, and I believe he does a job on Saki. That's a fight we like. With the division being so exciting now, Kyle Crotch and George Groves too has just been announced. It must it must be exciting times managing James at the moment. Absolutely, we're in the right division. That's for sure. It's uh, it's a hotbed of of uh, talent worldwide, including Andre Ward. Um, so, but you know, as you just pointed out. You, you know, we've got two domestic top super middleweights where, you know, we can have a, a trio of, of super fights in the division. So, you know, James is ready to fight either of them two and I believe that he'll, he'll, he'll beat the pair of them right now. But, um, you know, if we, if we have to get that WBC title first to make it a unification fight, make it even bigger again, then we will. James seems to be, his route seems to be planned in terms of this fight, potentially Badu Jack and then maybe Sacco Beaker in the future. So. It could happen. Time right, time permitted, then they could face one of those for a massive, massive domestic love stuff, couldn't they? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and, and can you imagine once James has won the WBC title, bringing that to the table with the winner of Frotch Groves? I mean, it just doesn't get any bigger, does it? I'd just like to talk a little bit about Tyson Fury. Um, I'm led to believe we're seeing him out again in April on the Fox Nation, would that be right? Yes, he's out in April. and. Um, you know, then it's uh, looking at either June or July for the Chisora showdown. That'll be absolutely massive. One, one thing I was wondering, will, will Chisora's European title be in that fight? Uh, yes, definitely. So it, it'll be a European title fight? European well. title and a, 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 it should be a final eliminator. I've, I've heard about the final so that's, that really makes that an absolutely exciting fight, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it, it does. It's a great fight and um, 
it's it's one it's one Tyson you know he likes. I mean, there was a lot of stuff said about Jazora being out of shape the first time around. We don't believe that. We believe that was a tactic, um, you know, to come in heavier because he was in with a bigger man. And um, but as you can see, Chisora was certainly fit for 12 rounds when he fought Tyson, so there was nothing wrong with his fitness. Now, I believe where Tyson's, you know, a little bit older, more experienced, um, in serious tra training camps with Peter, working hard with him, um, I believe that Peter will get him in the sort of shape that's going to where he'll take Chisora out and take him out and start. Dewey Fury again making great progress. That, that having the layoff and the little break he's had, it seems to, to rejuvenate his power a little bit. Do you think that's a fair state with me? That's, that's a very, you know, you've hit the nail on the head to be fair because um, Huey, where he was fighting so regular last year, was nursing nursing bad hands and, and, and elbows. And, and just, just because of, you know, how often he was fighting and sparring and stuff, being in training camps with big heavyweights, um, having great spars. Um, so, he, he took that time out to, to get himself back, you know, 100%, nurse the injuries, and now you, you, you see a different fighter already, and um, that's the game plan with Peter, to, to make sure that he's he's right for every fight now. So, and, uh, and, and you're going to see something special this year. Quick word on Peter McDonough fighting for the Irish title. I've seen that going about on Twitter. Can you confirm that's the case? Yes, that is the case. That's what we're looking to do. And... Um, just want to, you know, we're looking at nailing down the opponent, and uh, once that's done, we we can announce that. Okay, brilliant, mate. Um, last word on Kid Galahad. Kid Galahad, he's he, he's in, you know, he's he's finally got his European title fight, and um, you know he's doing it the right way. He's won the British title, now the European, and then once he's got that, you know, we're going to go after the likes of uh, Quig and uh, Frampton. You know, exciting and, times with Kid Galahad, really. Very exciting times. He's. Uh, He's a brilliant talent, you know. Everyone knows that, and uh, he's he's going to prove it this year. And, and and I know that he's the best of the lot. He's better than Quick, and he's better than Frampton, and he will prove it. Last word: Lenny Dawes are out March 21st, I do believe. Is that right? March 15th. Uh, sorry, March 15th. Excuse yeah. me. Um, then he's doing an eight rounder, and um, we're looking. You know, after that, we're going to look to try and get him in some sort of title fight. Excellent. Okay, Mick Ennessy, I thank you for giving me a bit of time today, answering my questions as always so honestly. Um, give congratulations to Michael on his fight as well, I heard he did win. Yeah, yeah. well done. He did, yeah, he did, he, he, he won it. Weren't very good for my heart, but uh, <laughs> it was a bit, bit of a thrill, a bit of a barnstormer. Um, yeah. Fought a real tough kid, good puncher. Went over, went over himself in the second round and then got up and uh, finished the fight in the third. So, um, Showed real heart. Real heart, real determination. And, uh, very proud of him, to say the least. All right, Mick. Well, thanks for giving me a bit of time, mate. And I'll catch up with you soon. Pleasure. Thanks, James. Cheers, Mick. Cheers.